Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter 11 that is need for transport. So let's kick start. Can you name a means of transport which can be used both over land and water? People need to move from one place to another. Likewise, goods too need to be traded and transported far off places. These need existed even in the earliest times. Transportation plays a very important role in the growth and development of a nation. The need arises from the fact that the goods are produced at one place are consumed at another. Raw materials need to be taken to different places to be converted into useful articles. These articles have to be sent to different markets for distribution. This too requires good transport facilities. In ancient times, men used to go from one place to another on foot. He used to carry his load on his back. To make it easy, men made sledges and pulled them himself. But later, he tamed animals like horse, camel, etc. The domestication of animals introduced a new way to lay the burden of transport of animals, which was superior to people in their speed and also capable of carrying heavier load. The invention of wheel brought about revolution in the transport system. The system of transport continued with very little change for several thousand years. The second revolution came with the invention of steam engine. The steam engine was designed by James Watt in England. Initially, coal was used to produce steam for the engine. Trains that run by steam engines were developed, later engines which could run on diesel or electricity were invented. Today we have fast means of transport making it easier for people to go from one place to another. Based on the geographical features of the region, the transport system can be grouped under land, water and air transport. So 